We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi, guys. Todd here. Today, we're going to be having a look at a prototype. I just want to make this clear at the start of this video. It is a prototype. It's the upcoming RDA from Armour Mods and it's the engine. There may be some changes between this and what you get down the line when it's finally released. According to Darren, the, the main man from Armour Mods, um, it, it should be exactly the same. But uh, I just want to make clear, it's a prototype. I'm not going to waste any of your time, your precious time here. So we're just going to go for some close-ups. Uh, this is the engine. So this is an up and coming uh, RDA from Armour Mods. This is a prototype once again, and you will be looking about 135 US dollars for this when it's released. Presentation for this guy is, I've, I'm not sure how long they've been doing this for. Uh, my S came in this package as well. And it's really nice. I do like the presentation on this quite a lot. Uh, basically what you have is a, a 510 stand and a little case here. So just pulling this off from here and there we go. Underneath here, if I just ping that off, uh, you'll see that we have our spare O-rings. We have a standard 510 pin in there. I've put the squonking pin in it. Uh, so you can use it as both, but I, I do like this. This is a, a nice little touch. So this is 22 millimeters in diameter. I think it's just over 16 millimeters in height. Yes, just double checking there, 16 millimeters in height, not including the 510 or the supply drip tip on top. Uh, but what we'll do now is I'm just going to break this right down. So we'll start with the deck. Uh, this is a media blasted deck that we have here. Uh, you can see we've got engine going on there. And once again, this is a prototype. And the finishing on this, for what I have here for a prototype, I, I really do not have any complaints in this. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can see you've got your cutouts here for your coiling rod. We have little hex screws in here. Uh, there was no uh, Allen key in the package. Uh, so you may have to have your own. You can see here that you have uh, an open slot here and we have the same on the other side. Uh, I've been using fuse claptons in this, no problem, and simple round wire as well. Uh, we only have a single O-ring going round on this one. It is on the looser side. And if you look round here, we have armor engine. I do like the, fin the finishing touches on this thing are, it's, it's kind of what sets it apart. You could say it's just a lot of branding and not everybody likes branding, but I, I do, I think, I think it's kind of classy. So that's your deck. And, and this is kind of where it gets interesting is we have these things. Now, when you buy this, it's going to come with the direct lung version only. So this is uh, an insert. And once again, we have the, the armor mods motto going on and uh, it's media blasted, 316 stainless steel again, and, and it's very, very pretty. Uh, we have a couple of ball bearings here, one here, one here. We have our air hole here, and the way this works is that uh, you just see the, the raised section running across here. So you've got your two wells and the raised deck section. So your two posts here are going to sit. You can actually see, if you look in there, See how it's countersunk in there? That's where your ball bearing is going to slot into. And you just get it lined up just perfectly like that and give it a push and it clicks into place. And now it's starting to look more like an RDA. Uh, so we have the air is going to come down here, through there, into the coil. It's angled down and it, it's, it's very clever. It's very, very clever. Now the standard one, the air holes that you have here, these are 2.4 by 3.3 millimeters. This here, that's the size, it's 2.4 by 3.3. The restricted one that we have here, excuse me, got a bit of juice on that there. Restricted one is going to be two by 1.8. And we also have a mouth to lung one here, which is 1.2 by 1.2 millimeters. Darren was saying that down the line he's going to, you know, have a bit of bling bling going on. There'll probably be uh, like gold plated versions. There'll be DLC top caps and things like that coming later on. But uh, right, uh, what you then have next is we have our top cap. Now the top cap is it's got the, you know, the armor motto going around here. Uh, look inside and you can see that you have two cutouts going on there. 
And all you're going to do is line up your two air holes here with your air hole here. And that's it. There, there's nothing to lock it into place as such. Uh, I'll just grab this and just pop that down. And there we go. You can still adjust this. You can, you know, adjust it on the fly. So turn the air down that way. But remember, you know, you're only adjusting the air on the outside, not what's coming through on the inside. So there is some adjustment with this top cap. You do have this o-ring on the top here. The reason for that being is that then you're then going to take this section and you can just pop this down on there. Now, uh, I, I do find that um, I'm a messy bugger. There's no two ways about it. If I let this o-ring get a little bit wet, then sometimes this section rises a little bit. So all I've been doing is when I do find that happens is that I just dry that o-ring off in the top then give it a spin and it stays down in place. No problem with that. We also have the little drip tip, 510 drip tip, goes on top and that's you, you now have an engine. The key thing to remember here is that this top section here is decorative only. Uh, that's all it is. Um, don't treat it any other way, it's there for looks only. Uh, don't use that to you know, try closing off your airflow and whatnot. You're far better spinning the bottom of the top cap. Uh, I find if I start mucking about with the top section, then the, the airflow, I just lose track of what's what. So I tend to just turn the base of the, the top cap. The coil I will use for this build is from PC Coils and there's the spec for it there. This is incredibly easy to set up this thing. I have no issues with it at all. You know, you're just going to throw your coil in like that and tighten the legs off. Just going to grab my coiling rod, slap it through there, make sure everything's tightened up and just get that lined up just a little bit. And you can see just using the actual coiling rod locator there, uh, that's where I'm going to run this one. As always, make sure you get your legs snipped off as close as you can to the actual post. I've pulsed this now and uh, that's me. I'm, I'm ready to go with this. Let's get some cotton in. Just pull my cotton through, make sure that everything is nice and tight there. Snip and snip. Tweeze it out a little bit. And then I'm just going to, if you remember correctly, we've got, uh, remember your wells that are there, just sitting underneath there. I'm just going to sit my cotton on top of there. Just fold the usual. You, you've You've seen this a million times in 22 mil RDAs. I'm just going to fold the cotton down and just sit it in the wells. The only thing you have to make sure you do is remember your insert is going to be sitting in here and here. So just make sure that you've got all the cotton is clear of there. You know, there's, there's nothing that's going to stop the insert sitting in it fully. And that's me. All good to go. Take my, uh, my most open one, my direct lung one, and just sit it there and it's just going to click into place. You, uh, if you are angled off a little bit like that then you know it's not going to go in properly but just get it lined up perfectly like that, little push and down it goes. And now you should be seeing that this is just you know it's it's a 22 mil RDA you know you've got your wells here it's just got this like exposed frame going on uh, you know you can see where the air's coming down it's angled down there it's going to be hitting the base of the coil putting some uh, Valencia from Regency this is a malt custard tart and just to make it easier to show you this again I'll, I'll, I'll split this down you don't have to do this every time but I'm just showing you this to make it easier remember you've got your air holes here and they're going to line up with these here just pop it on like that, push this down, standard 510 drip tip, and she goes, and that's me. Pop it onto a squonker, and uh, and there we go. That is the engine, uh, RDA by Armour Mods. Now before we go back up top, uh, I will point out that, you know, uh, with the restricted direct lung, you can see that the hole there, it's, you've got the, where have we gone? There we are, so you've got the two air holes here. So, you know, you're only going to be using one of these little air holes when you go to the restricted direct lung and the same for the, the mouth to lung one. It's nice. It's, I think it's really, really clever. It's very, very nice. It's two ways of looking at this. In one respect, it's nothing new uh, in that it's a, 
a 22 mil RDA with air coming down angled like that uh, and you've got the two posts uh, and it's very once it's assembled and in its basic form it, it, it's it's a very you've seen this RDA before it, it just works the same as any other 22 mil RDA to be brutally honest um, but it, it's when you stand back and look at it and you see I think it's a clever RDA. I, I like the branding on it. I'm not usually a fan of branding everywhere, but I think it's very subtle and with the media blasting and the the look of the top cap and the bit that goes on top, it, it's very, very classy. And this is one of the, I never do favorites in, in videos and things like that and end of year type stuff. Uh, but this year it is one of my I really, it's one of the nicest RDAs I've seen this year. Uh, not just in looks, but the, the way that he's approached it with styling and, and yes. Now, uh, cons, uh, things that I've come across in the past week. Uh, now, once again, this is a prototype. If it's a prototype, the finishing on it is still top notch. It, it really is. Um, the drip tip I like. I don't have any issues with the drip tip. I do not suffer from heat transfer. Uh, I know this was mentioned in my Facebook group. Um, even with uh, a rowdier build, a 0 0.25, 0 0.25 ohm a fuse clapped in uh, 35 watts, uh, I, I didn't get any heat transfer in this at all. Uh, so that's a thumbs up. The thing I mentioned about making sure that that o-ring on the top here is dry so that when you put the top section on onto the top cap uh, you just put it down and give it a spin if it rises just dry that o-ring off put it back down and it stays in place but it's something I did notice but that's really me because I get e-liquid everywhere also as I said in the close-ups I, I do all my adjustment from the bottom the, the, the top cap not the top top cap but the actual physical top cap, I adjust that way. So whilst you have the insert that comes with it, um, you can still turn the airflow down uh, if you're just adjusting the top cap. Now you've got the ball bearings on the inserts. I, I do, I like it. I do like the, what he's done here. Now the reason for the ball bearing is that, that if you'd used Ultim or Peak or anything else like that, um, which a lot of people don't like, a lot of people do not want a, uh, just call it plastic uh, they, they, they don't want plastic inserts uh, they just don't want that near their coil for whatever reason uh, which is fine I have no issue with that so he's gone for metal the reason for the ball bearing is that it means that uh, you know when you've got the insert in it's not going to rise you know when you take the top cap off it's not going to come out with it the ball bearings will hold it in place there is at the back of my head there's this thing that is saying e-liquid ball bearings uh, how long is that going to hold up? Uh, I would imagine that you're, yeah, you're going to have to chuck these things in sonic cleaners, uh, make sure that these ball bearings push them in and out, uh, and just make sure they keep moving. Um, only time will tell um, how that will hold up. Uh, I don't know the answer to that one, but it is something that uh, is at the back of my head. The fit on them is you have to come straight at it. You can't be off kilter at all it has to be straight on and they just click into place uh, I'm gonna have a vape I'm talking too much so uh, you know the coils that's in this and then um, here we go let's fully charge battery fully open here excellent flavor um, Excellent flavour. Uh, yes, I really like the flavour on it. The draw is... It's not direct lung as in, you know, um, it, it's, it's not clouds, bro. It's not clouds, bro. You can get some amount of clouds out of it, but it, it's not a cloud chucking 24mm RDA. But it's, it's a, a, for me, it is a, a restricted direct lung, an open restricted direct lung. And it's very smooth. It's also an easy one to squonk with. Um, 
as with any squonker, you know, just leave the top cap off, push the squonk bottle a few times, see how much juice or pressure it takes to fill that up. Uh, but it's not one that I have to, I can quite happily just squonk without looking at the, the actual atty. I'm comfortable with how it squonks. Now I've popped in the restricted direct lung, or the, the what they're calling the restricted di direct lung version, and yes, there's a fair bit less air than the the more open one, shall we say. And and once again, I have no issues with the the draw. The yes, it's very very nice actually. Now the mouth to lung insert, uh, holy crap, that's uh, in here just now. That that's that's mouth to lung. It, it's not um, modern mouth to lung uh, or you know what you get in these pod systems and whatnot. It is actually t that's tight. I, I I have had a mouth to lung coil in this and and it did the job great. Um, I, I, my own admission, I, I do prefer, I have this thing about mouth to lung coils, I like the air coming underneath. For me, this is the way the three inserts are working. You have a restricted direct lung, you have a heavy restricted direct lung, and then you have a mouth to, a proper mouth to lung. Um, I, I think the way he's gone is right. I mean, it would have been easy to just go mouth to lung and just gone down the, the route as most people have and have it quite loose. Uh, but this is, is more like an old school mouth to lung. I think the flavour for the coils I've tried, the builds I've tried, the various wattages, this is a very, very good RDA. Um, I like this an awful lot. Um, I'm very impressed. I like the styling of it. I like the way it looks. I do understand that, and, th and this is the thing, I mean, I'm not, you know, all he's, what he's done here is the insert, it's just a 22 mil RDA, two post RDA, that, but he's come at it from a different angle. I, I, and I like that, it's something clever. It's not reinventing the wheel, it's it's still at its core, it's still just a, a standard 22 mil RDA, but the, the little design touches on it and the, it's nice, it's nice. The only things I would worry about uh, are would be the ball bearing over time. Um, I lose track sometimes. Uh, I wish the top cap. I do wish the top cap had it locked into place and it could only turn so far. Uh, I do wish it had that. But then I, I have the same gripe about all my armor RDAs, um, and I think these days it's something that would be nice. Is you know that way you're not losing position. I'm not having. To you do sometimes, or I do have to, is take the whole top cap off and see where I am and then put it all back on. If it just locked into place and you only had a certain adjustment window, then I wouldn't have that issue. Top section of the top cap, if it gets wet, then it rises a little bit, just dry it out, put it back down. So it's there are some tiny little cons there for me, but this year, it's the the 18th of December, and and this one, this one tickled me. It really did. Uh, two massive thumbs up. Before I go, I should mention this. This is possibly the con, if you like it, if you want to put it anyway, is it comes with the one insert. You have to spend. I think it's going to be between thirty and forty dollars for a dedicated restricted direct lung or a dedicated mouth to lung. So that's going to be a con for some people. I'm not going to make excuses or, or come up with anything for that. That's just the way it is. Now, once again, the one that's going to come with it. So a fair bit of air goes through that. Now, once again, you can turn the top cap and adjust the airflow. I mean, that, that, I mean I've now taken this down to the restricted direct lung insert, or the airflow feels the same, and and it feels just the same. I suppose I should really, I mean, there was part of me that if I want to look like an intelligent reviewer, I should be saying to you that 
it's it's almost as good but it's not quite as good because it doesn't have that dedicated airflow all the way through down to the coil i can't taste the difference myself it feels the same it feels the same so i'm just going to leave it at that uh, i think if you just bought it with the standard airflow insert um, then it's going to cover you for restricted direct lung to quite an open restricted direct lung. Uh, the, the, the mouth to lung one is the only insert for me possibly that I would go out and buy uh, if you had dedicated mouth to lung vapour. I hope that made sense. Oh God, I'm dreading the YouTube questions already. I best go before I ramble anymore. I love this thing. I really do love this a lot. Um, Darren, thank you so much for sending this on. Once again, uh, I want to make clear that this is a prototype. Um, there may be slight changes between now and what you see for sale, uh, but just making clear, it's a prototype. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching and uh, until next time, bye for now.